program is brought to you by Air Canada and Visit Florida. Endless sunshine, infinite possibilities. Storm Center edition of Three Minutes with Three Mets. Nadine Powell, Jesse Upple, and Chris Murphy with you. We'll also talk about the Labor Day long weekend forecast. Nadine and Jesse will have those details. I'm going to start, though, with this one right here. This is our top story today, why we're in Storm Center, and it's because we've all had to do with uh, what was now post-tropical cyclone Ida. Of course, it made landfall as a hurricane category four back in Louisiana. But as the storm lifted northwards, yes, it weakened. However, it ran into much higher populated areas, a lot more concrete and rain, of course, it falls on concrete, doesn't absorb, it runs off, has resulted in a lot of floodings. There's been tornadoes as well. Jersey, uh, even the parts of the Bronx, New York City, the subway system completely shut down because it was washed out and that rain is moving Moving its way northwards. Big picture, high pressure keeping Ontario and Quebec dry. The southern Quebec, there's our plume of moisture in the Maritimes today, working its way into Newfoundland tonight and tomorrow, and then things will start to settle down. So our future radar showing you the heavy rain has already begun in portions of uh, southern Nova Scotia and New Brunswick. It'll continue to move eastwards today. Uh, be prepared for uh, some road washouts, possibly some road closures as well. Uh, today's a day you don't want to do a lot of traveling because we've got in some areas up to 100 millimeters worth of rain. Uh, Western Newfoundland likely to outrain Eastern Newfoundland. So just remember, do not walk or drive through moving water. Move to higher ground when you can and stay away from flowing rivers and creeks. Let's pass things over now to Nadine where it has been a really nice stretch in Ontario and Quebec. Will that continue? Well, yes, Chris, quite the opposite from what's been going on across the eastern seaboard and into Atlantic Canada. Look at this here. We're heading into Woodstock. Uh, Blue Heron just chilling. Uh, you see the water looks quite still, and I think he's uh, out for lunch. Uh, hopefully he caught something. Very dry conditions for us across the Great Lakes and into Quebec as well. You see the brown tear indicated this water vapor imagery showing us moisture or lack thereof across the Great Lakes region. And that's going to continue for us for the next couple of days, at least into Friday until later on on Saturday. So very pleasant conditions with high pressure center across the area. That low pressure system, though, moving in from the west, that's going to bring some rain for us with increased moisture and a touch more humid for us. You see they're starting across the northwest in Ontario through Saturday, pushing across the Northeast Cottage Country by Saturday night across the Great Lakes and through Southern Ontario and eventually Sunday morning watching for some light rain showers pushing through the Great Lakes eventually into Quebec. But across the West, it's been stormy, Jesse, but it looks like uh, conditions are calming down just a little bit. They are, and just in time for a long weekend, but take a look at the winter-like scenes. We take you to Jasper, and the roads were certainly coated, the trees. Uh, I wouldn't want to see this right now. It's a bit too early for me, but hey, it's at the higher peaks. Nothing to complain about here across the West Coast because we are seeing lots of sunshine. Temperatures are rebounding closer to that seasonal mark. You could think that ridge that continues to blanket the Prairie Provinces seen there, but notice that trough that starts to trickle in across the Pacific North Northwest and that comes late day Saturday, possibly bleeding into our Sunday. But you know what? Temperatures are on the rebound. Storm Center informs you about upcoming severe weather. It is so windy right now. Whether you're on our app, website or TV, stay safe and prepared with Storm